Greetings RC fans, Sharky here with my unboxing and first impressions of my brand new FTX Ravine that I just picked up from Sundon Models. So let's talk about the Ravine and why the Ravine. The Ravine is a motor on axle, so it has two motors, one on the front axle, one on the rear axle. It is also servo on axle, so servos on both ends on a competition crawler style, rock bouncer style of, of vehicle. It's not something I currently have in my fleet. It's one tenth scale. Um, it's got two 380 motors. One tenth scale. It's waterproof, so when I take it to the BERCC on Saturday, I can run it through the wet stuff. has four steering modes so it has standard steering it has rear axle only steering it has crab steer and it has really tight turning steer just thought I'd give you a quick look over the box because you know it's quite nice Six kilogram servo by the looks of it. We'll actually have a look at the proper truck in a second. You get the truck itself pre assembled because it comes ready to run. You get 7.4 volt lithium iron 1500 milliamp hour with a small Tamiya connector so if you have other batteries like that you can do it or get a converter lead uh, with a balance port on it you get a set of pretensioners that you can fit to the uh, springs to the dampeners you get a small toolkit. I don't know what these parts are yet. I haven't had a chance to read the instructions, but um, they look interesting. Uh, possibly for locking the rear end. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have a look at that. You get the instruction manual, and you get a USB balance lead charger, and the all important controller which I've already put batteries in, um, which has the different modes, steering trim, front, steering trim, rear, throttle, throttle trim, uh, the reverses, it's got a bind mode, all on that. Must admit, not particularly a fan of it, feels a bit light um, the I can reach just about to do one-handed steering but we'll see we'll see how it runs when it's out there onto the truck itself um, I've just pulled the body pins out so we can take the shell off which is a Lexan shell uh, with built-in figures um, roll cage on top and mounts on the side you nice big space in here for taking a lot larger battery than what I have currently um, got fitted. Okay. See on there, it's got six kilogram servos. And that goes down. Turn it around. Nearly to the ground. But got a horrendously good ground clearance in the middle because of its servo or its motor on axle design. Also comes with 2.2 bead locks. One thing you do need to take note of when you take the body off is which way round it is. Um, <laughs> fortunately, um, I didn't get it right the first time, but by turning 
controller on I could see because of the um, because I've got it set to um, look at that it's set to there's a little light behind it shows that it's front wheel steer I press that it goes on to full on steer press it again crab and again rear wheel steer so let's take this outside and see how it goes Mode one. Mode two. Three, no four on full lock. It's, uh, it's getting a little bit of a catch. The rear on full. narrow see if I can middle it it's plastic so um, The flex on this thing is amazing. Come the other way though. So final comments, thoughts, reviews. Um, had a look at the um, instructions. These are 
replacement servo horns. In the manual is a sticker pack, so with some more details which can be added on. What a fantastically capable little truck. It's my first servo on axle. It's my first motor on axle. It's my first competition style, rock bouncer style crawler, and I couldn't be happier. Big shout out to Sunder Models, where I got it. Um, also, a big shout out to Tomley RC, um, because it was his review that got me to finally pull the trigger on this uh, to fill a hole in my RC fleet that I didn't have something to fill and um, the fact that this is waterproof and I can run it through the water features um, is probably going to get tried when I get to the BERCC tomorrow. Anyway, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try uploading on a Monday, Friday, Wednesday schedule. So you should get a new video from me every four to five days. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. And I look forward to hearing from you all in the comment section. Bye for now.